onpa siinä haaskan näköinen pere. No niinpä on niin. Haaskan näköinenkö? Sehän on semmonen superkomma ja uhalla kaanis. Eihän sen parempaa voi olla olemassakaan kuin haaskan näköinen. Haaska! Haaska! Kyllä se savolainen se, se on sitten vikkelä älyni. Ja on se vikkelä sananen nyt. Ja aina se kaikkien kanssa puolensa pitää. Lupsakkaan jäntevä, dynaaminen, mutta velkä. No samanlainen ihminen. Ja kiva. Parasta mahdollista diplomaattiaineista. Aina meitä mollata. No ja Johan myö on tästä Pähkinäsaaren raahasta asti tässä rajalla asuttu ja rajo on vahittu. No Savolainen on semmonen, että kun se jonkun kanssa huosti ja pitää, niin se ilman muuta sitä samalla siinä tenttoo. Ja se kahtoo, että mistä se on, kuka se on, mitä se täällä tekkö. Ja siinä sivussa se puoli huolimattomasti se levittelee siltä sen niin älykkyysosaamia. No aivan upeata tietystikin, että eihän täältä voisi kuvitellakaan lähtemänsä minnekään. Jos haluaa niin perheen perustaa, niin tänne kannattaa silloin muuttaa. Tämä on rauhallinen ja hyvää paikka. Luonto lähelle, vesi, hyvät pyöräilumaastot, hyvät pyörätiet, hyvät rännikadut. Sekä suuren että pienen kaupungin, sekä uuden että vanhan kaupungin tuntuu samanaikaisesti. Kyllä mä voisin vaikka itsekin asua. From the beginning of time, the Savonians saw the deficiencies of the coast and chose to settle in the sheltered interior. The region was made sacred by its very own inland sea, Lake Kallavesi, whose abundance of fish, size and depth, and the berries and purity of the land met the Savonians' needs then and now. If you are afraid of high places, live on the lakeside. If, on the other hand, you love views, make your home on the hillside. Not even Lake Kallavesi is a limit to building. We cross water obstacles and create bonds and bridges for people. We call our idea the Town of Islands. No more boring journeys to work. Fresh lake scenery even with breakfast. We are a little afraid of the protected flying squirrel, which does not always understand the planner's maps. Those looking at Guopio from the Puyo Tower ask, are there really 120,000 people living in this region? When they come down and visit the green districts, the mystery of 100,000 is explained as an environmentally friendly city plan. You can walk in virgin forest, row out and merge with the shoreless lake. We don't just protect nature. Nature protects us from noise and pollution. If you feel tense at home, eat your breakfast on an island or have supper by a campfire. If there are differences of height in Kuopio nature, 
so there are in the houses themselves too. The city's housing policy has taken account of families with children, people living alone, students and the elderly. You can own your home, get a right of occupancy flat or rent a flat or house. We have excellent but not exclusive districts. For example, the castle-like houses on the island of Rönne are sites. But on Rönne there are also student homes. Home is like a womb. A healthy environment improves the child's well-being. Before building, we read the health and environment studies, the contamination and suitability reports. Kuopio University has Finland's only housing professorship, a title ensuring scientific quality. In Kuopio, one can say to an accuracy of a hundred meters where the city center lies. You can walk and also cycle to the town's nerve center, to the shops and offices. Urban Kuopio's rambling route is the street Kaupakatu, between the marketplace and the harbour. Within a kilometre there are many stories, relationships begun and ended, and the beloved cathedral for moments of joy and sorrow. At the harbour, the blue storehouse buildings, lakeside walk, park and hooting lake boats smell of Kuopio. The daily bustle of the marketplace contrasts with the blue moments of the evening harbour market with strawberries for sale and the old puffing boats. The evening market idyll is a highlight of the cityscape. For you, a living room has been set for the summer at the harbour. The Savonians are a border people. The tribe has learned to perform a balancing act between East and West. Lying behind this are historical facts. By the Treaty of Nutterborg in 1323, the Savonians came under the rule of Novgorod. But the Treaty of Tusina in 1595 put us under the fist of Sweden Finland. Since we did not become independent, we had to gain mental independence through clever verbs and circumlocution. Founded in the center of a parish in 1775, the town has grown in over 200 years into an economic area of 120,000 inhabitants. From Kuopio's history, we learn that the cathedral was to be built as a cathedral worthy of a seat of government, a decree from 1776. The cathedral is a unique city landmark, physically like a nose on a face, or a sail that will not be seduced by the winds of time. From its foundation, Kuopio was a center, in the townscape of the provincial capital, there rose public buildings, barrack area, provincial prison, provincial hospital, and many educational establishments. These old buildings whisper beautiful stories to today's citizens. But also sorrow and wailing, the terror of the war years, when public buildings were particularly at risk. The old parts of the town were preserved for the present and future generations. The old stone buildings in Kalpakatl, such as the Art Nouveau Museum and the Market Hall. The soul of the old town plan is still in the lanes in the centre. The lanes are a living reminder of the period when Kuopio was a wooden town. You can jump into a time machine and explore the past. For example, at the old Kuopio Museum, the deanery from the time of Swedish rule, Minna Kant's house Kantila, or the J.V. Snellman Home Museum.
Nature makes the girls and boys of Kuopio grow into strong Savonians. Indeed, this is the only city in the world where you can ski jump, sail at world championship level and skate on the ice of Lake Kalavesi. Naturally, a child's growth should follow the principle of a healthy mind in a healthy body. The development of character and strength of mind is helped especially by the fact that Kuopio has plenty of uphills and downhills. The city is also almost an island, which gives a feeling of independence and, in the person looking from the shore, creates broad vistas of the future. For those living and coming here, regardless of age and race, high-quality education services for children and training programs leading to both academic and practical occupations have been created. A small citizen of Kuopio has a big future, which they do not yet know, nor even need to know. According to the Kuopio education philosophy, from the elementary stage to the institutes of higher education, there must be continuity. But you can change studies if new inspirations arise during your education. A comprehensive school pupil can apply for the sports class and continue at a sports high school. What the sports high school doesn't have, the physically active young person doesn't need. Kuopio coaching enjoys the benefits of university level sports medicine. From Kuopio schools, you can go on to reach the top in the world, as many have done. For example, the famous Kuopio ski jumpers. In our high schools, there is not only sport, drama, music and other arts, but there is also the International IB High School and courses on business life for those interested. One of Finland's and Eastern Finland's biggest institutes of higher education offers subjects ranging from tourism and design to music, from technology to security, from business economics to nutrition and health. So a tray is laid for those who are interested in a high standard but work-oriented education. We strongly believe that Finland and Savo will get a qualified and educated workforce from the Savo Vocational College, Savonia Polytechnic and Kuopio University. Health Kuopio is a trademark that combines a health university, health technology, nutrition science, food production and sports tourism as a European and international health product. Nor do we forget culture when we talk about education. Kuopio Youth Work were to be described by question. 
it would go like this. How do you get a young person to participate and show initiative? Adolescence is a person's second birth. As the first birth causes pain and tears, so too the beginning of this second stage of life is accompanied by growth pains and the need for care, help and support. Youth services does not turn young people into colourless and insipid miniature middle-aged people to the liking of aunts and uncles. The majority of young people in Guobio grow up naturally into good citizens. Guopio Youth Services is needed especially when a young person enters the stage of rebellion, the growing up crisis and risky experiments. Then caring adults are needed, for although the adolescent challenges adults, deep down the adolescent doesn't want them to give in but show their love. At school, a young person has to hear lectures and sermons. Guopio Youth Services applies the only sensible and lasting method, dialogue, in counselling a young person. Dialogue derives from philosophy but is applicable to Guopio Youth Work. A youth worker has to leave his or her own world and link into networks of young people at street level. Guopio Youth Services offers activities even for those who get whole grain products for breakfast and whose fathers drive them to ice hockey rinks, music lessons and summer camps. You don't always need mum and dad when you go to the youth centre. In Kuopio, we're capable of idle boasting when it's a question of Savonian small talk intended to entertain visitors. In the context of Eastern Finland's economic center, science and technology, however, we must speak with the appropriate earnestness. A map shows why Kuopio is a center. Which town is situated at the crossroads of south and north 
east and west? Which point do the roads, waterways, airways and railways head for? Why do some 4,000 companies and public bodies feel that all roads lead to Kuopio and from Kuopio to everywhere, to large states and small countries? Hard-working people do not live only by working. In the voluntary work of Kuopio's associations, there are many more members than there are citizens in Kuopio. Economic life tends to take root where leisure activities and participation in the community produce the well-being known as social capital. If you claim to be a center of economic life, you must also be a center of know-how. Know-how has many addresses, but the Kuopio Science Park is a unique brain center. The Science Park is at the core of the world's information flows. The research reports, theses and a description of product development would require a lorry load of paper. Productive inventiveness is not limited to the Science Park. In Kuopio, also high standard export products are made for daily use for us all. What are you interested in? Quality parquet for your home? Streamlined boats for your leisure time? Furnishing textiles, juices, liqueurs and wines for your celebrations and everyday life? Pile drivers for your company and healthcare technology for your municipality? In the growing city, there are small boutiques and the charming market and fish hall. On sale in the hall is our traditional, yet subject to continuous product development, health product, Kala Koko Fish Pie. The marketplace is the hub of the world. In Kuopio, it has been seen to that in the centre there is life and events, from high culture to rock from street basketball to dance, dialect competitions to student fundraising events. In fact, Gorpio Marketplace is Finland's biggest stage, where everyone is both a spectator and a performer. At Gorpio Marketplace, you will inevitably encounter a local type of talent, curiosity. Take the phenomenon as a personal compliment.
leisure services is Guapio's little big man. It affects tens of thousands of people with a very small budget and staff. It is also big because owing to competitive sport it is seen in big headlines and national and international TV broadcasts. If you let publicity deceive you, you might think that leisure services mean only competitive sport. Competitive sport has its points, but thousands of young people do sport in order to be like their role models. It is good to remember that young people's competitive sport in sports clubs is massive education and public health work. If exercise builds, then it builds places that have a lot of local users. The Central Ground Football Stadium is an amazing place. The ground's heated artificial turf pitch has brought southern conditions to this land of skiers and ski jumpers. Sports events are also cultural events. We build competitive sports venues because thousands of Kuopio citizens enjoy following sports culture every week. Theatre, drama, comedy, even poetry can be found in sport too. At what other events are there as many spectators as at league games and ski jumping World Cup competitions at Boyo? Competitive sport also promotes tourism. A good example of this is the Dutch invasion of Kuopio. Kuopio is seen on Dutch television thanks to the Finland Ice Marathon. In the summer, there are more Dutch tourists in Kuopio than anywhere else. Despite the competitive sport slice, the city's recreation services provide dream places both indoors and outdoors for keep fit enthusiasts. Close to the centre, Boyo is a combination of respect for nature, tourism and winter and recreational sport. Top skiing competitions ensure that the ordinary Sunday skier can glide in peak conditions. The Boyo and Anticala slopes are Kuopio youth work quite as much as providing a service for tourists. Boyo is loved by many different age groups. Discover for yourself that only in the primeval forest of Puyo can you breathe. For keep fit enthusiasts, a buffet table has been laid out with food ranging from traditional delicacies to exotic treats. In Guopio, you can take exercise near your home wherever you live.
Culture is a much used word. It can be arbitrarily combined with another word, and again, culture gains new meaning. In a presentation on Kuopio, one could speak of market culture, horse cab culture, or football culture. The whole of Savonian life is a culture that cannot be described in English. Savonian words, local dialect mantras, are songs with many meanings in which the tone of the word says more than the form. In addition to local culture, Guapio has plenty of high culture. That's a word that irritates many ordinary Savonians. I would give a visitor a good piece of advice. Talk about culture, not high culture. It's very hard for the tourist to decide whether it's better to experience Kuopio's cultural life in winter or summer. Therefore, we recommend both seasons. In the summer, at least, there is the oldest and biggest Nordic dance event, the Kuopio Dance Festival. The festival is probably Kuopio's best-known event. Dancing on courses dancing on stages, dancing outdoors with world stars. The Minimi Dance Theatre is at once small, big and fresh, full of humour and the joy of performing. You probably understand why, in 2004, Guapio became a regional dance centre. Culture must have a history and roots. There has been professional, theatrical and musical activity in Guapio for nearly a century. The Modest Drama Society, founded in 1902, has grown into a regionally and nationally influential theatre. Every year, on the home stage of the Guapio City Orchestra at the Music Centre, there are visits from national and international artists, as well as top performers in the field of popular music. The secret of the Savonian is revealed at the old Guapio Museum and the J.V. Snellman Home Museum. The Guapio Museum's cultural history and natural history exhibitions are safe, but be careful. For Finland's only mammoth, called Hacker, lives in the museum. Guapio is the centre of the Orthodox Church of Finland. The Archbishop of Karelia and all Finland, Leo, directs his parish from Kuopio. So Kuopio is a capital, an Orthodox capital. Here we also have the most important Orthodox Church Museum in the West. Its treasures date from the 18th and 19th centuries. Go and see traditional visual art and, boldly, also modern art and the VB Photographic Centre, which conveys touching social messages. Guapio culture is a means of promulgation, tears and exaggeration, tragedy and laughter therapy, depth and merriment, present and historical anguish. Guapio Social and Health Services is not just one big level of administration among many. It is every Guapio citizen's security system. Acquaintance with social and health services begins from the first moments of life. In daycare, a child is already an experienced customer. For a child and young person, the path of regular use of the services leads through comprehensive school and continues into working life. A Guapio citizen uses the services most as a pensioner when their relationship with the social and healthcare staff is close and warm. Social and health services is the mother of all administrative departments. The other administrative departments couldn't manage without it. On the other hand, the workload of social and health services is eased by the other departments that promote health. 
education, culture and leisure services reduce the risk of illness. The technical office removes obstacles in the way of the handicapped and elderly and installs equipment in flats, enabling elderly people to live at home longer. Chronically ill and handicapped people may sometimes feel lonely and the need for conversation and peer support. Social and Health Services recommends that they join handicapped and public health associations, which are also one link in the service chain. Guapio Social and Health Services is not cliquey. Information is exchanged electronically and quickly with the University Hospital. Patients do not get lost on the way, but are in the right place at the right time. Social and health care professionals speak about a chain of care. The latest wisdom is actually just a walk away at Savirahti. You can always trust your own health university. With the university there are joint projects and joint professorships, for example in child protection and in nursing. The university trains doctors, nurses and social workers. One could probably say that social and health services has the option to cream off the best workers from its own organisation. In Kuopio, your future is secure. Social and health services looks after you throughout your lifespan. Under you, there is a flexible safety net every year, on every day of If you intend to become ill, you should definitely do so here in Kuopio. In Kuopio, treatment and care is on the highest European level. The University Hospital updates its skills in the neighbouring International Health University. Kuopio Health Know-how is being developed in particular in the Health Kuopio programme. Health Kuopio is a health trademark. The brand will soon be known in the European Union area. Modestly, in the Savonian manner, we want to be the best in Europe. Having got going, we will not only conquer Europe. Our health know-how has reached as far as China. In other respects too, we are international. Health and medicine tourism is one example. Athletes from St. Petersburg as much as Spanish heart patients are welcome to come here for the best treatment in Europe. If you come to Kuopio for rehabilitation, junk food will be banned. On your plate you'll get tested health products. With scientific precision we'll measure your fitness and body composition and then, depending on the time of year, we'll urge you onto the ski track natural skating track or sawdust paths in the primeval forest of Boyo. Health research is used for the benefit of us all. Savonian grandmothers and grandfathers, grey panthers, receive quality care in different service centres. Use is made of university know-how. The nutritional values of the food have been considered for elderly people. The medicines are dosed with scientific precision. Health Guapio is also involved in the first moments of life. As a professor who delivers babies has a habit of saying, I work in the service of primary production. Unfortunately, it is not yet possible to give birth virtually, but you can at least visit a delivery room painlessly via the net. We openly admit that health know-how is also business. The city's business development department and the city-owned technology centre give a kick start but also a final push to enterprises. Whether you're an entrepreneur, return migrant or just want a nice change of scenery, naturally you won't forget that health is the most important partner in your life.